Hey, hey y'all, I had another video planned for today that I was going to do. Like I had written out my notes, my outlines, everything else. And that video may still get shot and it might still be uploaded today. But I just saw The Hobbit and I am so in my feelings right now that I have to talk about it. Like you don't understand. I have to talk about it. Can't I can't even talk about this right now because I'm upset. Anyway, for those of you who are not into Tolkienverse um, or not enormous fans of Lord of the Rings or The Hobbit, The Hobbit is actually the prequel to the Lord of the Rings movies. They kind of went in backwards order, shot Lord of the Rings first, and now here we are 10 years later, we have The Hobbit. And like I said a minute ago, this was the final installment of The Hobbit. And who? I just need, I need to like go downstairs and sit at my piano and play some hymns for a little while because I need to talk with the Lord about my feelings about my feelings because I have a lot of them like they are many they are many I actually wore all black today can you see my boobs mm, mm, the boobies um I actually wore all black today on purpose because I knew I was going to be in mourning like I knew it was going to happen <sighs> And I'm hurt y'all. I'm hurting. Like I'm, I'm hurting so bad. And I don't want to keep saying that I'm hurting and y'all think that oh she's hurting because it was a terrible movie. It was not a terrible movie. I haven't quite figured out how well I like it in terms of uh, or in reference to the other two movies. Um, I probably liked it a little, maybe on equal par with the... Did I like the second one better than the first one or not? I don't know. I'm not even going to try and do this whole ranking thing right now because I just, I can't. Like, I'm not in the space for it. And y'all are probably sitting at home like, this chick is crazy. Like, why is she freaking out over this movie? I'm going to tell you why I'm freaking out over this movie. The Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit and, like, J.R.R. Tolkien in general is really important to me because it's really what started me on high fantasy. And fantasy, really, in general, um, for those of you who are new to this channel do not know fantasy is my like all-time favorite genre of literature and this is how I got started in it when I was 11 or 12 years old the Lord of the Rings the Fellowship of the Ring came out which is the first movie in this whole Lord of the Rings 10 15 year saga and I was visiting my dad in Georgia for a couple weeks out the summer and one morning before we left before me and my sister went back home um he packed us all in the car and we drove down to the Mall of America my dad was in Atlanta um, he drove us down to the to the mall to the mall of Georgia, and there's an enormous movie theater in the mall of Georgia, and we saw this new weird looking ass movie called The Fellowship of the Ring. I'm 11, 12 years old. I have no idea what the fuck is going on. Like I don't know. Um, but when we left the movie, like my 11, 12 year old mind was blown. Like y'all understand, The Lord of the Rings was the most extensive use of CGI, well integrated CGI, like top of the line, like. There was some futuristic type shit, <laughs> okay? Especially to like an 11, 12 year old that's never seen that type of stuff. Like it was, it was ahead of its time as far as um, cinematography, um, computer generated graphics, um, everything really to do with film. It was way ahead of its time. So I, of course, became obsessed with it. Like at the time I was really big into anime and I was like, bump that, this is so much better. And over the years, it just kind of became my thing. I got my sister kind of into it. I got my mom really into it. Every year, um, my friends and I, like my middle school age was not dominated by Harry Potter. It was dominated by when is the next Lord of the Rings movie coming out? Cause like from sixth to eighth grade, I had a new movie every year and it was awesome. So we would all go see the Lord of the Rings movies together. So when these Hobbit movies finally got made, um, my friends and I that I'm still friends with from middle school were super duper excited. And we've always gone to see the Hobbit together. So we decided that we could only go with each other to sit there and hold each other while we cried. And I don't cry in movies, okay? She cried when we went to go see Return of the King and I laughed at her. And I knew that this time I was like, I'm gonna laugh at you because I don't cry in movies. Like, uh-uh, don't nothing move me. I'm a rock. Lies. Like, I cried for the entire last 45 minutes. I cried in the beginning. I cried in the middle. Like, halfway through, she had to, like, poke me. Like, are you laughing? Are you sobbing? I was doing both at the same time. Like, oh, God, it it hurt me. And I don't want to tell y'all any spoilers because I know that The Hobbit is for, the book is forever years old, but some of y'all haven't read it. Like, and it just came out today or last night, whatever. So I don't want to spoil it for anyone. Because you just need to go and you just need to... No, you know what? Fuck that. Don't go. Don't go see it because it's a life ruiner. It will actively ruin your life. Like, I don't act like this. I don't have these kind of 
feelings. Like, I don't know. No, no. It's like fucking Billy Boyd. Billy Boyd and his songwriting at the end and his little singing and stuff. Like, no. That was unnecessary. That was a smack in the face. Like, I'm just really in my feelings right now because I'm just really in my feelings. This might be the second time that one of my faves didn't die in a movie. Like, the second time ever. The first time was actually in Return of the King because I did not like Theoden and when he got rolled over by his own horse, I actively laughed. Um, yeah, I didn't like him. I didn't like him at all. But one of my faves in this movie did not die. And I was super excited about that because I fracking love him. Um, if you guys follow me on Tumblr at all, you know who I'm talking about. I don't want to give names because I don't want to leave spoilers. God. Um, but yeah, if you follow me on Tumblr at all, you know exactly who I'm talking about. Probably. Probably. Maybe. I don't know. But so many of my other faves, you know, bit the big one that it doesn't even matter that he lived. <laughs> it doesn't even matter that he lived because so many other people, things, and objects that I love either were disintegrated or, you know, brutally murdered by orcs or... I can't, I can't say the other thing because it's a spoiler. Oh, I almost, ooh, y'all almost got it. Whew, but I'm, I'm, I'm in my feelings. I really just wanted to make this video to let y'all know that I'm really in my feelings. I can't really even give you an intelligent critique right now because I'm based, I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna go lay on, I'm looking at my pillows right now because they're what's behind this camera. I'm gonna go lay on my pillows and I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry and then I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna wrap some presents because... I don't have it in me to do anything else right now. Like, go see The Hobbit. It'll ruin your life. That's all I got. Bye.